Hi guys, welcome to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn what is static variable, static method, and static block. So let us create a new program. Go to new and class. So I am creating a new class car inventory. Right? So this is a new class and this is a main class here. So here you can see the car inventory class is created that contains the main. So let us create some variables inside it like in car count that will count the number of car which are present inside the car inventory. So this is a variable. Let me add a method inside it that is void. And I will create a method that is add car that will add the cars inside the car inventory. So I will add here the car count plus plus and it will show the number of car presently in the car inventory. System dot out dot print ln. And here we go, we are just displaying the this one car added i will write a message car added inventory count it will display the inventory count and it is present in the variable car count so here you can see we have added a variable we have added a method so if you would like to access this variable and a method inside a main class, you can't access directly like car count. You will not be able to access it. You can see it is not present. You can provide some value to it. It will show error. Cannot make a static reference to the non-static field car count. So because this car count is the instance variable or in the similar way, you can't access this add car method inside of main method. Why can't you access it? Because this is again instance method. So instance variable and instance method both can be accessed with the help of an object of a class car inventory. Otherwise, you will not be able to access so you will hover your mouse and you can see how will you fix this error. So there is a one way to fix this error. You can change car count to the static. If you will define this variable car count as a static, then you can access this directly. So let us just fix it and make it a static. So here you can see this car count right now. This is a static variable. And here the compiler is not complaining anything and you can assign the value 20 to a variable car count. And in the similar way, if you will over your mouse over add car method, you can see it is giving one suggestion, change add car to the static. So if you will make this method add car as a static, you can directly access it without creating an object of it. So here you can see, the compiler is not complaining anything and you will save your program and you will run it it will show the output so you have initialized your car inventory with the 20 car right and after calling this function it is just adding one car using the plus plus operator and it is showing the present number of car are 20 so this is how to use the static variable and the static methods so static variable and the static methods are not the part of an object these are the part of a class so static data is not dependent on an object it is the part of a class so for all the object of a class will share the same copy of the static data right so this is the static variable and how to use the static block. So here you can see you can add a static block also. And how will you add it? You can use simply static and this is the static block, right? This is the static block or inside this static block, 
you can access only the static data or inside the static method also you can access the static variable or static data so let me just show you one by one so let me just remove this line from here and generally what is the utilization of the static data sorry static block so static block is used to initialize the static variables so let me just write some statement here and you will write system dot out dot print ln or inside it you are just writing some statement like initializing inventory right initializing inventory or inside it you can initialize some values like car count what is the value of car count you can provide some value like 10 you are initializing your car inventory by 10 so here you can access or you can initialize your static data inside the static block so car count is equal 10 right now or whenever you will call this method add car it will just do or will add one car in the inventory and it will show the current output so here you can see just whenever you will call the method add car and you will run it and you will see the output in slicing inventory car added inventory count is 11. so what is the beauty of it you can see the static block is the first one which will called by the jvm so when the jvm will just run your program the first job of the jvm is to initialize all your static variables and your static block or static data so how it is working when the program will load first time in the memory so what it does it will initialize or it will check there is a variable that is car count is defined then your static block will be executed it will display message initialize inventory and it will initialize the value of the static variable car count then here in the main method you are just calling the function that is add car which is a static method and this method will be called without creating an object of a class this is not the part of a object it is the part of a class so no need to create the object of a class car inventory directly you can access the static data inside the main function and here you can see the main function is also defined as static so in the static block you can't access the non-static data for example if i will write here int the variable here i will write or i will assign some value to it like 2024 this is the variable and you can see this variable is the instance variable or if you would like to just access this variable inside that static block and you will write you will update some value to it so it will compiler will complain it what is the complaint cannot make a static reference to the non-static field here what is the meaning of it the meaning is inside a static block you can't access the non-static data so it means this is the instance variable this is non-static you can't access this non-static inside the static uh, block or in the similar way inside the static method inside the static method you can't display or you can't access the value that is the year here if you will write you will display the year and here you will just write the value of the year you can see the compiler will complain again so whenever you will hover your mouse it will display cannot make a static reference to non-static field here so what is the meaning of it it means you can't access the non-static data inside a static block or inside a static method also and in the previously you have seen many examples even your main method is in static so in the main method you can't access the variable instance variable and instance method directly without creating an object of it so i i just i'm just saying 
inside a static block you can't access the non static data that is the instance variable that here so is there any way to access the non static data inside a static block yes there is a way you can create an object of a class okay you can create an object of a class then you can access the instance variable so for example inside this add car method i will create the object of a class that is car inventory and this is the object of it so using this object obj dot year i can access this variable here you can see the compiler is not complaining here so what is the statement you have to remember always what the statement you have to remember always means you can't access the non static data inside the static block but if you would like to access the non static data inside the static block you can access with the help of an object of that class and this is the way to access it right so now i will remove this part right and i will make this line as comment and whenever you will run it you will see the output in slicing inventory car added inventory count is 11 so this is the utilization of the static variable static block or static method so again in the summary why we are using the static static variable static keyword is used to make variable as global so in java if you would like to make some variable as global global means the all the object will share the same copy of that variable you can make that variable as static so static variable is known as the global variable also you can't access the non static data inside the static block if you would like to access it you can access it with the help of an object right and this is about the static and the static block and the static methods so this is for this session in the next session you will understand how to access the static data static methods in the different class so this is for the day thank you bye bye keep watching videos bye bye good night we'll see you in the next class